Hey, it's Sean from P2R. I've done a lot of videos installing the rocker assemblies and especially the aluminum rockers over the last couple of videos. But what I wanted to actually show you guys is how to assemble the steel rocker assembly when you got it all apart and laid out on a table like this. Instead of just taking it and resting on the head, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get it all together, how to get the pin, how to get the pin for the VTEC uh, put into the rocker and to basically get it all together from scratch. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna go ahead and put the rocker shafts on the cylinder head just to see the direction that they go. This is pretty straightforward as they only go one way and um, the bolt holes only line up one way. So now with the rockers themselves, the exhaust side rockers have a letter A and a letter B on them. So I wanna just go ahead and start by pairing everything up um, in a proper order so that we know how many lefts we have, how many rights we have, um, or at least not how many, but have them all together. So on the exhaust side, you know, we're gonna have three rights and three lefts. On the intake side, we're gonna have three per cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to put all the pieces together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the exhaust side first. As this side's a little bit easier, we just have one left and one right, and then a spring that goes in between. So. In this case, we're gonna work from right side to left side. So I wanna go ahead and put the one that is kind of angled inwards. That's gonna put, gonna put it over the valve tip. And we've got the spring, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the opposite side. Basically, you can tell that they face um, towards each other. Essentially, on this side is really simple. We're just gonna continue the same process. Go ahead and put um, one of one side, the spring, and then the next of the next side. This is how it comes in handy having them um, paired up properly. And that's really it for the exhaust side. This is this is actually ready to go on. I'm not gonna squeeze it in. I'm just gonna go ahead and rest it up here as I don't have a camshaft in this cylinder head. It's really just um, for reference so you can see the exact order that these need to go in. So just like we did on the exhaust side, I'm gonna go ahead and pair up all of the intake side rockers. You actually have three different styles here. Um, you're gonna have the middle one, which is for the VTEC itself. We have the pins that go in there. And then we have uh, one side, which is spring loaded, which helps engage the VTEC. All right, so it looks like we're all paired up now. We got three lefts, three middles, and three rights. So as you see the middle, so it's gonna go right over your, your LMA spring. And here I'm just kind of looking to make sure, um, show, seeing which one's on the right side or which one's on the left side. So you pretty much wanna line it up over your valve tip to kind of just see um, that you have it the right direction. Don't forget to put your piston or your pin inside of the VTEC. Don't see that this is actually the wrong way. See, that's and that's exactly what I was trying to show earlier. You want to make sure that they're facing outwards. So go ahead and flip those two around. And you can see that now the valve tips are actually pointing towards the outside. And that will fit a lot more accurate than how it's supposed to be. Showing you here how the piston pushes against that spring. Also want to make sure we have that in there. We'll go ahead and get the last cylinder put into place. That's really it. Those are lubrication holes and where we'll send the oil pressure up to lock your VTEC pin. Uh, I wanted to show you one other option, which is where we have the Ferrera exhaust rocker bushings. This will actually eliminate the use of a spring. 
This is my preferred method on these. It makes the install a lot easier as you don't have to try to squeeze the springs together to get it all installed. So essentially you're just gonna have your, just like we did before on the exhaust, we're gonna go ahead and put uh, one side. Instead of a spring, we're gonna put the exhaust rocker bush in, and then we put the next rocker. And we'll just repeat that process three times. Rocker, bushing, rocker. And one more time, we'll go ahead and do the rocker, the bushing, and the rocker. And just like that, we've assembled the exhaust side one more time. And since we don't have the pins to squeeze in here, really we just have to slide everything into place and it will drop down a lot easier. Once everything is lined up, it falls right into place just like you see there. And of course, rotate the P2R logo facing forward. <laughs> All right, so I hope that proved helpful to you for anybody trying to install the rocker assembly. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's actually not as intimidating as it looks. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you really enjoy getting some of these tech information or any of our videos in general, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can be alerted anytime we drop a new video. It's your support that helps us to continue to do these videos. Thank you.